Welcome back to IPA, where we keep it real and raw. I'm your host, Imari Samaj, and I'm bringing something new to the platform that I think that you guys will really enjoy. I'm trying to do some album reviews and give you guys my uh, interpretation of some of these new projects coming out. Um, talk about some more mainstream uh, topics, some more mainstream artist and be able to give you guys a different a, you know a little a little taste of both sides you know i'll say so if you like what you see don't forget to share it comment you know it don't cost no paper unless you're a motherfucking hater let's get into it we getting into the album that just released on may 12th nba young boys richest op so to start off with um you know this is his I believe this is Young Boy's 26th project in total since he started making music, uh, his sixth studio album. So it's definitely shown that this dude, I mean, anybody who knows anything knows that this dude has been a workhorse since he came out. Since he's been on the scene, he's always been very, very active, just locked in and just constantly dropping, making it harder for any of the other competition to even keep up, really, unless you in in the upper echelon. But so the standout tracks that I found on this project were I heard Bitch Let's Do It and Fuck the Industry Part 2 for obvious reasons. So, you know, I think that Fuck the Industry Part 2 kind of encompasses the entire project itself. Uh, it's mainly just kind of like a fuck you to the rest of the industry, or at least that's the way it's portrayed. You know, it's not really something that... Uh, Young boy's never been the type that clicks up well within other rappers as, we, as we've seen over the course of his career. He's not really super heavy on features or, you know, getting super locked in with other artists. So this, I guess this kind of just comes with the territory for, for him as an artist is just to talk shit and continue to talk shit and sell and talk shit. And, you know, if it works, it works. But at the same time, I did get... Uh, undertone in this project as I listened through it the second time I felt as though it wasn't like his other last like well actually actually I will, I'll say I feel like it was exactly like a lot of the other projects that he's dropped but I only say that because I don't think he strays too far from from the guitar beats you know guitar and piano beats and just kind of being in that staying within that lane of like the Louisiana style that got him blown up and the style he pretty much uh, coined as being his his like hallmark. But another big factor in the release of this album was the fact that he was also trying to compete with Dirk. And, you know, if you've been following hip hop over the course of the last like, I want to say year and a half, ever since King Von passed away and even a little prior to that, YB and Dirk have been into it and it's not, I wouldn't even say it's into it, but they've, YB's definitely been throwing shots. Dirk says that he may or may not be entertaining it. You know, like they're both very, they both, they both try to speak very cryptic of the, of the entire interaction between them. But nonetheless, the project is based off of uh, his beef and not only with the industry, but mainly with Dirk. And I think Drake, he did Drake and Jay Prince in it also. So it's just kind of like a, just a nice, nice good old fashioned middle finger. But I think the, the ratings that I would give this project. So from a rating scale, what I would have to give this project is lyrics. I would have to go with an eight. Eight out of ten. I think Young Boy always delivers with his lyrics. I I definitely don't think he's fallen off in terms of his uh, creativity and capability with his cadence and his lyrics and whatnot. Um, beat selection. I will also give that a a solid eight because I think that even though he mainly goes to the piano for his main instrument throughout the majority of his music, it still sticks. You know, he's he's made he's pretty much the king of the piano beats, you know? So you can't really be mad at the man for sticking to what he knows, but concept wise, I'll give it a five. And a five, I, I give it a five because as I've stated, it's not necessarily the project that 
gets a lot of replay value on my playlist. You know, like I try to be, I, I enjoy watching artists develop and diversify themselves over time and recreate and rebuild. And you just love to see that as a fan. But when the artist is kind of stuck in that one lane or in that one type of, that one type of sound, you know, and it's not just one sound. He has multiple different sounds, but it's nothing that we haven't already heard, you know? So overall, I, I like the overall review and my overall analysis of the project is based off of the fact that I want to see him evolve as an artist. You know, I want to see him evolve in a sense that we watched Lil Yachty go from Lil Boat to this now he's dabbling in his new sound and he's completely found his own lane as if he hasn't already been in his own lane but he's just further separated himself from the competition from a from a strictly artistic standpoint now needless to say young boy still sells young boy still has the crazy fan following he still has the people that are supporting and giving him mad love on a constant basis and i and i enjoy his music overall you know like i enjoy the sound that he brings because Anyone that's trying to recreate the sound is just a recreation. You know, he's the dude that people look to for that, for that style of rap and those style of beats. Like that's the, the voice you expect to hear on it is his. Now, still, with that being said, with having so much body of work, 26 projects, six albums, I, I just want, you know, like maybe let's, let's, you know, like let's, let's, let's hear a R&B, R&B album, R&B young boy. You know what I'm saying? Like shit i don't know i don't know i mean maybe i'm just my that's just my own and of course it is my own interpretation and my own bias in my own ear but with that being said get in the comment box and let me know what you guys think of this project let me know what you think of the album as a whole let me know what you think of my critiques and let me know if you have any songs that you think are better than the ones that i listed off but with that being said you heard it here first yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm. It's us. Mm.